Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to fix. I mean, just tell me, you know, why you'll put an Apple sticker over a Dell logo. Yeah, this is a Dell laptop. Why you'll do something like that? Anyway, our Dell is dead. Okay. Plug in the charger, USB-C charger. I mean, the meter is not even coming on. So this job comes from, uh, this job is coming from a local repair shop. Yeah. And came here with no charging, powering on. Okay. Let's open the laptop quickly and try to figure out the problem. You know what? I love this kind of design. Actually, the screws is not coming out. Yeah. So you open the screws and just take the back cover and that's all. The screws are not falling down. Huh? Beautiful. Okay, so the laptop is open. You suspect to be the charging port? You know what? This laptop has two charging ports. One here, and it's not working. And one here, and it's not working. Huh? Let's, uh, let's see the main power LA. Let's have a look. Let's try to figure out the fault. Main power rail, present, do we have anything on the battery? The battery, we have zero volts. Main power rail, must be somewhere here. Yes, yeah, zero, we have no charger plug, plugged in. Let's unplug the battery and let's check for short, yeah? Checking the main power rail for short. Is not shorted. LOL. No, it's not short. Okay. That's weird. That's strange. So how we can fix it? No, it's not short. I mean, this, this looks complicated, really. So, I mean, I have the charging port here, some ribbon cable somewhere here. Not too many power supplies around here. So, I believe we have to take the board out. Uh, that's what I believe, or well, maybe I'm wrong, yeah? <laughs> Let's try to see the battery plus and minus yeah so that's minus this must be plus it's not so this is not plus here I can't even figure it out the plus of the Of the battery I mean I suspect the main power rail is uh, <clears throat> you know this power supply uh, it will create the main power rail for the whole laptop let's see the coils with the ground so this one is good this one is good 15 ohms 15 ohms, a little bit too low. 15. Hmm. That's strange. Good, good. So why that uh, power rail has 15 ohms? Anyone knows? Let's have a look with the power supply, one volt. Let's see why that has one, uh, only 15 ohms. And it's taking 250 milliamps. I suppose it's good, yeah? I suppose it's good. Let's take the board out and have a look. Okay, so we took the board out and, uh, you know, looks complicated. Really. I mean, I can't see liquid damage. No, it's not liquid damage. The charging port has a weird connection with the motherboard. You can see, it has like a board and that board is connected here. Strange. Let's try to have a look at the motherboard. 
So, what we are looking for? Uh, this is our EC chip. We are looking for liquid damage, things like that. Blow up chips, yeah, why not? Look, look how many fuses do we have there? You can see them? I mean, so many fuses. So check here. This is one fuse. And it's good. Yeah? Another fuse. Good. 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 Look how many fuses this laptop has. That's crazy. And I can't see anything wrong here. Let's take out the heatsink. So the heatsink gets out and check the check that the USB C. Oh, <laughs> that's insane. So check here, check here. So the USB C has the PD controller together with the uh, how you score the Thunderbolt uh, memory here on the board. You can see? I mean are all together. Wow, the charging port looks fine. Like how it uh, looks, looks okay. So let's uh, let's try and check this chip. I mean, they separate the power supply from the from the laptop totally. Okay, so I plug out. I, I plug the adapter. Let's see what voltages do we have. So basically we have no voltage even on the even on the on the memory we have nothing like check here yeah last pin we have nothing so what's going on here why this is not activated you know let's unplug the charger and check the output for short This one is good. This one is good. This pin is fine. This is plus. Wait. Where is one on? So here is short, yeah? Here is short. I mean, you know, just make up your mind, because I'm not sure which is plus and minus, yeah? But you, we have, here we have short on this side, yeah? Here we have short, here we have short. Huh? It's not right. I mean, okay, I suppose this is plus and this is ground. Or this is ground, this is plus. But either way, it's not uh, right to be short. Let's come with the power supply. It is strange because the, the USB meter, it doesn't show me like anything. So let's come with the power supply. Like how I said, I believe... I believe here is plus. And it's taking like 1.3 amps. Not sure what is taking 1.3 amps, so we're we'll, we'll gonna find out. Let me grab the thermal camera. So what do you think is shorted, huh? What do you think is shorted? So I'll come with power here. And... And I can't see anything. Do you see anything? Oh wait, it's not short. Yeah, now it is. It's taking 1.3 amps, and there's nothing like, I can't see anything there. You can see anything? You can spot something? No. 
Let's raise the voltage and the current a little bit. It's taking 2 amps. And still I can't see anything. Do you think the short is inside of the charging port? No? Huh? Let's try to find the pin on this side of the board. So on this side of the board, this is good, this is good. What is this? This is zero ohms, and I believe this is the, you see it's a big truck, so must be the input. I like 0 0.07, and on the other side, how much do we have? 1.5 ohms. 1.3 ohms. Okay, it's not that one. It's not that one. 0 0.06. Okay, it's not that one. So which one it is? I can't, I can't find it. I can't find it. I cannot find it. So what's the, what is the solution? You will ask. Sorry. What we are doing. You know what we are doing. You know exactly what we are doing. Mm -hmm. You know exactly what we are doing. Let me switch the cam. <clears throat> Let's raise the voltage. Let's raise the current to like 5 amps, yeah? And let's try to blow up something. It's taking 4 amps. And... And I can't see any... I got burned on my, on my, on my finger. I got burned and I, I was holding the finger like that. Okay, you know what? You know what? Let's uh, let's lower the amp, the the current. Let's try to have a look one more time. One point eight amps. Oh, lol! Check there! Check there! Check there! Check there! So what is there? Huh? What is getting hot there? I mean, I don't even know where it is. So here somewhere. On the other side of the board, so here, right? I mean, it has to be here. One more time. Yeah, exactly on the top of those capacitor, on this area where it's nothing. So I believe our short is on the other side of the board. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. No even point. The chip is exploded. I I I'm, I'm, I don't understand how he missed that chip. How he missed that chip? Check here. What is this? Six five nine nine two. What is this chip? What this is doing? Let's try to have a look on Google. Wait, wait one second, one second. So this one, it's a USB controller, USB Type-C controller. But it has the PD controller inside or not? That's the question. You know what, you know what, you know what. You, you, let, let's, let's, you know, let's, let's go on our way, yeah? Let's go. So this is another PD controller. It's the USB. The customer can live without the USBs. You can use Wi-Fi. Uh, let's remove this chip and see if we have any power. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. We can order the chip. The chip is it is on eBay. Yeah, so we can order this chip. Hmm. Little bit of flux, not too much.
come on. I look solder. From where is this solder? Probably when the chip blow up, right? No, I didn't blow up the chip. No, 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 no. I didn't blow up the chip. The chip was blow up, was shorted, shorted to ground. That's the reason why we have no uh, power on the USB power meter. You know, let me raise the temperature because I cannot take this chip out. Yeah. Yeah, now it's, it's a different story. But these things are scary. So I believe those are power rails. And actually this chip is the PD controller. That's what I believe. And that's bad. That's mean we have to buy this chip. Now the question is, sorry, do we still have short hair? Huh? Let's come with the multimeter. So we have ground here. No, we don't have short anymore, you can see, no short. Now let's see if we are plugging the charger, what is happening? Nothing happened because this ship is not only USB controller, it's PD controller. We have to order the chip. Wait, but we don't have another one here or on the other USB. Let's see, let's see if we have another one. We can steal one. So what chip is this? Nah, no, this is something else. This is something else. No. But we should have same chip here, right? I found it. I can't believe I found it. Or this is shorted. Why this has, why this has flux on it? Huh? Why this ship has flux? You think this ship is blow up also? You can see the flux on it? Hmm. So why this ship? It looks like it has some flux on it. You know what? We didn't try after we removed the short. We didn't try the other USB. Let's try it. It's not working. Now, let's see why, why that chip exploded. Let's check the, the power rails here. Yeah? Let's see why that chip exploded. Let's check for sure there. Here we have nothing, and here we have nothing, and here we have ground. Okay, so that chip exploded for nothing. Just kill itself. Okay, so what, what we're gonna do? <clears throat> Very simple. We're going to remove this chip, which probably, uh, probably this one is, is dead also. But we're going to remove this chip and move it to the other place. Huh? What do you think? It's a good idea. We're stealing a chip from one side and we're moving it to the other side. So if we have a working USB-C, it's, you know, it's progress. It's called progress. Half of the job is ready, you know, we can charge like half of m price money, right? Yeah, because you have a working laptop. You know, I love when the manufacturer actually put more chips, the same model, on, on a laptop. So actually, you know, you see, we need one, we can steal one from here. Huh? So you think this is good or burned? What do you think? Who knows? Let's put the chip there on the other side. Here. The P number one is there. Good. A little bit of flux. Hmm. 
Yeah, just a little bit. Now let's solder the chip back. Okay, so the chip is soldered on place. Yeah, it's perfect, perfect, perfect. Now let's test it, yeah? So this is not a PD controller. I don't know what chip it is, but has the, you know, the memory here. Probably is handling the USB, the Thunderbolt communication. Let's test it. Let's test it. Let's test. It's working. I can't believe it's working. 1.3 amps. Wait, 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 wait a little bit. Why 1.3 amps? Wait. No, it's not working anymore. It worked once. Oh, lol. We killed the chip. It worked once. I can't believe. No, it's not working anymore. Don't tell me the chip is shorted, actually. Don't tell me the chip is shorted. Haha, <laughs> short to ground. I can't believe. So that chip died instantly. Do you think that chip was burned from before? What do you think? I mean, it's short. Check here. Yeah, like five ohms. You can see on the screen. I mean, we can blow up that chip. Yeah, let's blow it up. Let me let me put a finger on the chip. It's not a chip. It's not a chip. It's taking four hundred milliamps. But what is taking four hundred milliamps? Four hundred milliamps. Ah, uh, the chip, my chip. Yeah, it is getting, it is getting warm. Yeah, the chip is gone. So this chip died instantly. My 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 personal opinion is this chip was dead from before because none of the USB C ports worked. So you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna replace. I was gonna order. Sorry, I will order two chips because both are dead. So this. Work like few seconds, but unplug it. I don't understand. And the chip still died. So I will order two chips and uh, see you on the next one. Yeah, when the chips arrive. Bye. So we are like uh, two weeks later. I ordered a chip from eBay and they come from China. Very expensive. I pay like twenty nine pounds for two chips, and obviously I have to pay for the speed uh, delivery because the customer wanted quick. Let's see if those chips are good. Yeah, I'm very curious. You know the story with ordering chips from China. I mean, you know already. I'm curious, yeah? So let's order the chips. And see. Good. So the new chips are here. You can see them. Brand new. And uh, I don't really remember in two weeks, but yeah, that's the one. Okay, so we have one here to replace and one here, right? Yeah, yeah, two chips. Good. Let's replace this quickly and see what is happening. I mean, last time, if I remember, I replaced the chip and got instantly burned. That's what I remember.
Let's remove the chip. P number one is there. Hmm? Should be an easy job, right? If the chips are good. Okay, so we remove the chip. Uh, I seen on the yesterday video someone asked, uh, sorry, but why you never like replacing the solder with a fresh solder and it's kind of pointless, yeah, this is metal, the metal is not getting old, actually uh, it's protecting itself by a tiny layer of oxide, yeah, that's the reason why you are, you, we are using flux flux is very corrosive when it's hot yeah so uh, it's pointless only if you try yeah you can do it only if you try to lower the soldering temperature yeah but otherwise it's just pointless and waste of time yeah I'm just saying if you like to waste time and try you know your own own way that's then it's fine But you cannot expect uh, from me to have same obsession like you, right? And I definitely understand, so don't get me wrong, yeah? I definitely understand the satisfaction, yeah? From a good soldering job. You know good soldering, removing the part, cleaning, fresh solder, no, weaking, weaking, fresh solder, cleaning, clear flux, and then solder. I really understand the satisfaction, yeah? So don't get me wrong. But, you know, I'm not in that. I can't open the... Okay, he used some uh, some tape over the chips. One second. It's the same way. It's like I'm telling you, okay, you have to like Toyota cars. Because I like them, yeah? You know what I mean? I say, no, no, I don't like it. Yeah, but you have to. You know what I mean? Yeah, same like people asking to uh, to do this. Good, let's solder the new chip. So we have the new chip here. Hopefully it's a good quality one, but we'll see. Depends how it's getting soldered. So I can I can tell you on that point. I can tell you on that point. Good, let me lower the temperature to 400 degrees. Good. I mean, that there are channels youtube channels based on this like pushing the soldering like to the state of art <laughs> but from this to saying okay you have to apply fresh uh, no it's nothing fresh No, this is this is rubbish. Listen, this is this is rubbish. The cost, the the solder is not getting onto the chip. This is rubbish. Check there. <laughs> yeah, but probably it will not work. Probably it will not work. This is rubbish. Trust me. Okay, let's try to prime the chip with solder. Uh, listen, this ship is rubbish. Yeah, it is. It is. Huh? Or not? It's just shy? Yeah, it's just shy, yeah. Good, good. Okay, so we are fine, kind of fine. We have to push out that extra solder from the area. Yeah? I don't know if you can see it. Wait, wait, don't get, don't, don't get it wrong, yeah? I don't like Toyota. I do have a Toyota, but I don't like them.
Yeah, look there, the extra solder, I guess, yeah? Perfect. I mean, with, with the Toyota, with my Prius, uh, I have a very bad experience. So actually, I checked online, and uh, usually are a lot of United States videos, and they have the Prime, actually that's how it's called, Toyota Prime. Here it's called Toyota Prius, same car. But they have like a big screen, like a Tesla screen, yeah? They have all the electronic features inside. And I said, you know what? I want it. I want it. And I go and I order a brand new one. And when the car came, it's like empty, like nothing there. Like just a small screen and that's all, nothing else. I mean, nothing. Like whatever I seen on the videos was nothing on my car. And they say, oh, no, no, this is the British version. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it was too late. It was too late. So yeah, that's my experience with, uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know actually, that, you know, oh, it's, that's the UK version, mm -hmm. okay. It's yeah, kind of strange, so uh, I dig in a little bit and uh, uh, because on the United States is the competition with Tesla, actually the, 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 the Toyota, they are doing like proper good cars with a lot of electronics in, inside but here no you know it's UK is fine you know they don't need something like that nah now this is kind of you know it's kind of strange I mean you can do a good car for a country but you cannot do the same car for another country I mean, what's this rubbish that's how the competition works on those days yeah perfect huh weird right yeah that was that was the reason why i bought the car because i seen uh, so many things so many like i can't even tell you and i bought you know the the, the most expensive one like fully like fully full you know with everything and when the car came, like nothing inside, like nothing, electronic speaking, nothing, just a small screen there, and uh, nothing, like nothing, nothing. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, the life sucks. I know. Okay, let's see. So we fit one chip. Let's see. Let's see if it's charging, right? Okay, let's plug the charger. But wait, what charger needs? One second. It's USB-C. Because I don't remember to see. Oh yeah, it, it is USB-C. Okay, let's plug the, the charger. So you're ready? You're ready? It's coming on, that's a good sign. 19 volts! I can't believe, actually it's working. Oh, wait, 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 it's restarting. So the board is not starting, but has no BIOS battery. And I believe this board should start, right? Without the BIOS battery. Looks good. I mean, looks good. We can plug the board. Actually, let's replace the second chip. And we can test after, yeah? That's the second one. And the pin number one should be there, yeah. There.
Come on, come on. Yeah, it looks good to me. Hmm? Looks fine. Yeah, let's solder the chip back. Yeah, perfect. Let's solder the chip. Good, let's use a little bit of flux. Perfect, you see, the chip is moving freely there. Perfect, now let's test and see if it's working. I mean, we wait two weeks, the customer wait two weeks. Good. Uh, let's leave on one side the heatsink. So it seems to be working, it's taking 1.8 amps, we got an error, the USB-C has low power, my USB-C. Okay, let me plug on the other port because I have a second port on my adapter. Uh, continue. I'm happy it's working. I'm happy it's working. Yeah, it's taking like 2.4, 2.9. I see. Wow. And it's loading the windows. It's working. I can't believe it's working. So this is that kind of laptop which is not working without the without the battery. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, but interesting. This board, and probably those are the new ones. So the board didn't come on, even if we reset the BIOS. I mean, it was no battery plugged in. We plugged the power, the board didn't come on. Till the moment I plugged the battery. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so the laptop is working how it's supposed to work. Three amps, check that. Wow. And now the laptop is off, and the charging current has to go up, and it's going up. 1.3 amps, okay, that's the charging card. Good, so if you have this kind of laptop, you know, those chips are rubbish. I mean, not, are not rubbish. One second, from where I bought the chips, one second. Actually, I can't believe the chips are working. Yeah, from here. Okay, from this seller. I mean, 12 pounds a chip, $12 a chip, or two chips, or uh, postage, you have... If you want to come, uh, I don't know, have some speed pack option at the checkout, which is like, I don't know, like eight, nine pounds, something like that. Yeah. But this is the seller from where I bought the, the chips. You can see I bought this item. Good. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. You know, it's it will help me a lot. You know, every like, every subscribe. You know, for the video to go up and rank on the YouTube search engine. You know the story. And uh, see you on the next one, right? Yeah, the next one, it will be nice. Yeah, it will be a fail collections, yeah? Yeah, I do have a few laptops I failed to repair. And I will upload them uh, the next one, yeah? Bye.